Bass well, has told us he's been injured more doing pro wrestling than did while any legit fight he's ever had. Yeah, he's I mean, got injured more in pro wrestling than he did with, with real fights. You, you, know, you, know what surprised. You, you know what it is about pro wrestling, though, is, you know, like even in boxing, the only time I got hurt was that, that one time where I shattered my nose. But other than that, I never really got hurt in boxing. But wrestling, because we did 250 matches a year. We we're always on the road. Your body never got proper rest. You're staying up all night. You're partying, you're, and you're getting slammed every day. You're you, you don't always land right, you know. And and you're wrestling different guys, and some guys are real stiff. Some guys are real easy to work with. It's a dance, you know. And not only does that dance always go well, you know. So it's a, uh, it's it just takes a toll on your body. You tweak an ankle, you twist a your shoulder or something, and it's like you you wrestle in pain. And that's why the uh, pain medication was so addicting, and and many wrestlers that have passed on from uh, years of um, abuse. I don't know how they do it now. I'll be honest without, I mean, because they're really strict on the, the meditation now with the wrestlers. They are, but they, they, don't. They, they don't wrestle nearly like we used to. They do about 80 matches a year compared to our 250 when we when I was there. I done a show with Hulk Hogan called Hulk Hogan Celebrity Wrestling. It was a month and a half shoot. And I tell you what, by the end of it, I could barely move. And I mean, I'm, I'm not, no joking. I could barely move. Well, you know, they say wrestling is fake, but gravity is real. <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I agree with that. It's, it's 100% true on that one. Yeah. yeah well, bottom line, Mark, you can't fake uh, throwing your back onto a piece of wood, can you? <laughs> but no, it, and you know, those, those steel chairs really are steel. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And the wood chairs are supposed to come apart when you get hit with them. Sometimes yeah, B, B, we got to tell B, B, we gotta, the wrong damn stool. We got to tell that story, okay? So B and I are fighting in a four man tough man contest, and the and the end of the match is supposed to be, uh, you know, B knocks me out, and then but I I I get up and I take the stool and I bust Bean over the head with a stool, and I was it's a breakaway stool. It's supposed to splinter in a million pieces, okay? Well, there's two stools underneath the ring, one for me to sit on in between rounds, and, of course, the breakaway stool, that's the gimmick stool. Well, the trainer hands me the wrong stool, so when it's time for me to hit Bean over the head, I swung this stool as hard as I could, and it didn't break. So I, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. So we're having this live pay-per-view. So I swing it again on Bean, and just the, the top, the round part, just falls off, you know? And it didn't splinter. And, Bean, and that night at dinner, Bean said to me, he goes, I thought that chair was supposed to break away. My head is killing me, man. Well, wait a uh, sec. You're, you're trying to tell us this wasn't real? You just shattered all my illusions here, Mark. Just, just oh this God. one match. That's it. Too just real. Too real. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out and like this video. Then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.